Hello guys, welcome to DTWGED Prep. Welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what to study, okay, to prepare for your math test. Okay, there's been there's been a lot of questions on the Facebook group on areas of concentration and where to focus on what to study for the GED math test. So I'm going to be showing you what to study here on this video now okay so and if it's your first time on this channel please please subscribe and support us to grow and also give this video a thumbs up and share this video okay and um so let me just quickly go to what to study okay i have um it's just to also introduce this uh, a website now for dtwgdprep.com uh, okay where you can get your there are several uh, you know for your ged uh your social studies, your sciences, you can just go through this, uh, read the, the topics, uh, and also after reading the topics, there are, there are some um, like quizzes on, on that to help you study, okay? We can see I'm still updating them with several lessons and all, but you can start uh, checking them out, all right, to help you prepare for your GED test, okay? So let's go to what to study. So this on that G uh, guide. Okay, this way I'll be posting several things um, students frequently ask ask about the GED. All right. So what to study for your math test? Okay. So now, all right. So you want to study. You want to study and get your GED math within two weeks to a month. So these are the topics to. Let me go down here. Okay. So uh -huh, Let me focus here. So these are the topics. You can later on go to the site. And click on um, guides, and you see you see this post here. So these are the topics to use to to look at. Okay, now if you are seeking for high scores to get into college, all right, I recommend that you dig deep down into each and every one of them. But if you just want to pass, you just need it for a job, or you just need your you want, you want to get your GED, you're okay with from uh, you know one forty five upwards. Okay, you're okay with that. Then let me just tell you where to concentrate on. First of all, you really need really need to know your basic maths. It's going to help your fractions, how to convert a fraction to a decimal, how to um, you know your mix just how to play around with fractions you need to know those basics okay and uh, ratio proportion uh you, you don't really need too much of it okay if you're just for 145 alone all right for your geometry all you need to know mostly mostly is you know need to know your circles your circumference your diameter what the diameter is what the radius is uh for your formulas the area and circumference of uh, of a circle you are going to have that on your formula sheet all right but where is most uh, most tricky is when um you know for instance the the circumference of a circle is what pi d okay and you will see this formula in your formula sheet all right so um if the if in the test you won't be given a straightforward um, questions you might not be given a straightforward questions like saying find the circumference of the circle all right so sometimes you'll be given to you'll be given the circumference and told to find d so you need to know how to work your way around that all right and um, in this video here 13 most difficult gd questions math questions explain i've done something uh, um, that i just spoke of in this video you see some questions on this okay so this is where geometry gets difficult for students all right but um, later on in the future, I will do more geometry questions to help you out, all right? So instead of just, you know, people, you just think, oh, the formulas and the formula sheets, and that's all. You don't need to read that. But, you know, you need to know how to find D if you're given the circumference, all right? So also, you need to know uh, how to, let's say in the surface area, you're given the surface area, you're not given the height of the shape. You need to know how to also manipulate this particular formula, isolate D, so you 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 get the, the the form the answer for D. Okay, so that's where geometry gets tricky. So please please, you need to know your geometry well, your perimeter, how to find the perimeter, how to find the area. You need to know all those all this. Okay, now algebra very very key. The first thing I always teach students i tutor under algebra is sign numbers it's going to go a long way okay it's very key and foundational for whoever if you want to get high score if you're just okay with 145 as a score it's key because uh, you have a lot of um, 
minus 2 plus 6 minus 2 minus 9 you have a lot of that okay and also you have it mixed up with variables too okay so uh, when you have algebraic expressions and you have a minus and a minus what do you do these are sign numbers you need to know how to go around it okay i'm also going to leave a, a video i think the video is also here one minute let me go down i will show you the video now okay yeah understanding plots plus minus rules in math you need to watch this video okay if you have problems with um you know having problems with um, understanding sign how to add subtract and divide sign numbers it's going to help you okay so uh algebraic expressions everything on algebra you need to know them everything on algebra you need to know it okay so this algebra things on that algebra here what irrational numbers are order of operation pandas what absolute value is okay you can see about um, your test sometimes you can read meet about two questions on absolute value please don't miss this it's quite easy i think i did a video recently just go through um the youtube channel all right and um several videos i've been doing i've been following following this like in algebra now i i've done absolute value the, vo the video for it i've done order of operation that was the last video i i uh, uploaded also sign numbers okay and i will be doing more of algebra all right so you need to know algebraic expression polynomials yes and also your equations your simple step equation multiple step equation how to multiply two binomials inequality is very key you can see about two questions from inequalities quadratic equations you can get about one or two okay and um, this is quite difficult for advanced all right so you might not really want to bug your head you might get just one question or two questions from quadratic equations all right and and when you get down here you get a lot of word problems all right a lot of word problems where you have to bring out equations from you need to know this so your algebra all right is key for whichever score you desire to have your algebra is key okay when you combine all this you can get about 10 15 questions under algebra all right then your graphs and slope key 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 how to the y-intercept form your slope the formula for slope you know uh functions how to plot the graph your coordinates how knowing your x and y axis is very very key slope alone you can get a lot of questions all right so these are the things you need to focus on okay your triangles quite easy a straightforward pythagorean theorem is quite straightforward for you to learn data uh, statistics you need to know what's your how to get your mean which is straightforward mean median you don't need to spend more than a day on data and statistics okay to read read it up mean med median mode and your range okay you need to know the formulas to get this then probability people always run away from probability but it's quite easy okay it's just your favorable outcome of uh, your uh, possible outcomes and i have done several videos on uh, probability on the dtw channel independent probability theoretical probability experimental probability i have explained them even with solve ged practice question on the youtube channel which would help you okay all right so in probability you might get like two questions from from there all right on your test or okay so these are the things you need to learn before you go do your tests all right so um these are the things you don't need to nothing out of this you don't need to learn um, calculus you don't need to learn trigonometry no it's quite simple and straightforward you don't need to okay and uh, as i said earlier on i do offer uh one-on-one -on -one online tutorial uh, online tutorial through zoom so if if you need help okay you need personal uh, private tutorial do please contact me all right i think uh let me just clear this this screen quickly i think i dropped my mail here yes yes so you can contact me all right here and uh you know schedule your time with me and we take it up from there so this this is all this is all you need all right this is all you need nothing extraordinary 
okay nothing extraordinary from all these topics underlined here nothing extraordinary at all okay so uh so all you need to do is just get on with it okay i think what i'll try to do is to um, draft a timetable that is workable for almost everyone that you can follow maybe in like 30 or 15 days and you will go get your ged test okay done and you pass all right so thank you thank you thank you for staying tuned all right so you can always 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 check check on um, as you can see i've been uploading a lot of things on the site so you can just check on this and read up for your social studies your sciences you can check and read and answer some quizzes that would just help you out in your other tests your science and your social studies so thank you for staying tuned and, and thank you for subscribing to the channel and uh, one more thing please don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he is the way he is the truth and he is the life is the one who is going to lead us to heaven at last and also give us that good life here on earth. Okay, thank you from DTW Tutorials. You are destined to win in your test and in life. All right, see you in our next video. And one more thing, please, if you have any comments or feedback on this site here, please do let me know. Is it okay? Do you like it? Do you, what do you want to see more on it? Please, please just feel free to comment. Thank you so much. Take care.